straks zullen ze met 36 aantreden. 52 weeks. 2184 hours a year. That's the kind of time these athletes put into training. Repetition is the key to success in the sport of gymnastics. The girls make it their business to know every nut, bolt, and bend of the apparatus. And all of that training culminates here today in their quest for a national title. Today, NBC Sports World is in Salt Lake City for the USGF Women's Championships of the USA. This is Charlie Jones along with Nancy Thies. And Nancy, we have two veterans leading the competition. Charlie, after the first round of compulsory competition, Marsha Frederick is leading in the all-around. But right behind her, only 15 hundredths of a point, is, it's hard to believe, a veteran 13-year-old, Tracy Talavera. What I'm looking forward to and what I think that everybody will enjoy watching this competition, the new faces on the national scene. Charlie, I was looking at the list of girls competing, and over half of the girls here are new to our elite competition. So there are a lot of new faces. One of the things that I've noticed during the warm-ups that I must ask you about, a lot of the girls are crying. Why is that? Well, Charlie, there's a lot of pressure in this competition. The top 16 girls from this meet go on to the final Olympic trials, and they all want to be there. And the U.S. Olympic trials will be held in just nine days. And you can see them on NBC Tuesday night, May 27th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Here is Marcia Frederick, her first ball, leading in the all-around competition. Layout, Sukahara. Oh, low landing all the way to her hand. Marcia Frederick, very consistent in the compulsories. That ball will hurt her score an 8.85. Now let's move to Tracy Talavera on the beam. She was second in the all-around after the compulsories. An opportunity here to move into first place. Tracy has been a very consistent performer all year. I think the highlight of her career has been winning the American Cup competition just a few months ago. Tracy stands only 4'9 and weighs in at 82 pounds. Tracy has had a little bit of a problem in this competition. She's been fighting a cold, and that makes it tough to compete. Last year, Tracy was ineligible for the World Championship. She had just turned 13. But since she becomes 14 during this calendar year in September, she is eligible for the U.S. Olympic Trials. So far, she's doing a very steady routine. There's a back walkover coming up, a unique move for Tracy, some pummel horse work on the balance beam. Four events going on at the same time. Marcia Frederick's second vault. Tracy had trouble. And now Marcia has trouble. So Nancy, our top leaders, are both having problems at the same time in the competition. It's all part of the drama of gymnastics. It's a nice back somersault. A gaining back somersault into a back handspring, another back handspring. Good tumbling run there. So Tracy Talavera completes her beam routine. Marcia Frederick's score in her second ball was 8.7, so she's disappointed. Tracy's score on the beam was a 9.2, even falling. And Charlie, that would have been a 9.7 had she not fallen. Here is 14-year-old Beth Klein of Covina, California. Sixth in the all-around after the compulsories on the beam. Charlie, I was talking to Beth's coach earlier, and he said that if Beth can just hang in there from compulsories, her optionals are so much better. So I'm excited to see her competition today. Nice aerial walkover. Beth Klein is one of the new faces that we were talking about on the national elite scene. You can see in her, her balance beam routine is packed full with difficulty. Watch this, Charlie. A plant. The strength that's involved. A very knowledgeable audience here in Salt Lake. Here comes another unique move, a twist on the head on the balance beam. Nice back handspring, another one, very smooth. 
And with a proud... Welcome to Austin Encore. Featuring your band, the Austin Program, but boy, is she a powerhouse. Watch her first tumbling run, Charlie. Double pike back somersault. A little low on the landing, but that is a difficult trick. Julianne is 14 years old, stands 4'10", and she weighs 82 pounds. These are the mighty mites of gymnastics. They sure are, Charlie. There's a punch front somersault, right into a clean double full. Julianne's father, Kevin, works as an engineer with the British consulate in San Francisco. He was a gymnast in his younger days. And her mother, Jean, was a rhythmic gymnast in her younger days. Charlie, Julianne lives with Tracy Talavera and her coaches, Dick and Linda Mulvihill. And this is the caliber of competition that we will be seeing on Tuesday night, May 27th, the U.S. Olympic Trials on NBC. Double back. Unbelievable. To finish a routine with a double back. That adds a lot of difficulty. Nice routine. Julianne McNamara. She was fifth in the all-around after the compulsories. And here's another look. And like I said, Charlie, Julianne is quite a powerhouse. It takes a lot of endurance to be able to do a double back somersault at the end of the routine. Her score, a 9.65, and her total puts her in a tie with Tracy Talavera for first place, and we have only 20 one-hundredths of a point separating the top four competitors. NBC's Sports World will continue right after this. This is Charlie Jones and Nancy Thies. We're in Salt Lake City for the U.S. Women's Gymnastics Championships. And after the first rotation, 14-year-old Julianne McNamara and 13-year-old Tracy Talavera are tied for the lead. In the floor exercise, here's Tracy Talavera. Watch the choreography here. It's a nice double back somersault. Nancy, last August, Tracy made an appearance on The Tonight Show, and she didn't know what Johnny Carson looked like because she'd never stayed up that late. She'd never seen the show. Nice double fall. That is the voice of her mother, Nancy Talavera. This is Art Maddox, Tracy's piano player. <laughs> he's involved in the choreography of the routine. Charlie, he's quite a genius. He was also my piano player when I competed. So hard, Tracy. Tracy's mother offering her encouragement. Tracy's still fighting about with the flu. Nice routine. Tracy Talavera and Art Maddox, her piano player. Again, a very difficult tumbling run here. Ground off, back handspring, nice double back somersault. And Nancy, I think the pressure of this competition is even getting to Tracy's mother. But this should please her. Her score, a 9.7 in the floor exercise. It's not always pressure. There is time for fun. Here is Senora Pauletta Hunter.
Now back to the serious competition. Here's Marsha Frederick on the uneven parallel bars. I think by, by now most people are very familiar with Marsha on the uneven parallel bars. Gold medal winner at the World Championships two years ago. So far doing a wonderful job. The music and the floor exercise, other competition going on at the same time. Excellent dismount, excellent dismount. Charlie, two years ago at this competition, Marsha received a perfect 10 on her bar routine. This is another great routine, good control. Look at the extension in her legs, arms are straight. She really is, is almost in a class of her own on the uneven bars. Her score, the highest of the competition thus far, a 9-9, nine, nine. her total moves her into a tie with Tracy Talavera for first place. And here's Julianne McNamara on her second ball. Her first ball was a 9.7. She needs a 9.75 to take the lead. This is one of Julianne's best events, handspring kite front somersault with a half twist. That little bobble on the landing, what will that cost her? Well, probably a couple of tenths, Charlie, but with the new add-on scoring in our country where judges actually add on tenths for difficulty, that vault is now worth a 10.3 if she does it to perfection. Julianne's score, a 9.85, which puts her in first place. So, Nancy, after the second rotation here in the finals, we have a change in the standings. Charlie, we just saw Julianne do outstanding, and that's her strong point is optional, so it's going to be exciting to see how she does. She's moved into first place now. The all-around standings after two rotations, with Tracy Talavera and Marcia Frederick tied for second behind Julianne. Beth Klein had a 9-4 in the Florax. She's dropped to fourth. President Carter speaking before a meeting of American athletes, coaches, and officials in the East Room of the White House. Met Peter is that niet hoog. En als een 